Hey guys, this is Mark Cutton with AdultAspergersChat.com and I oftentimes get emails, uh, comments on uh, my blog posts or Facebook pages from NT wives stating that they, they don't understand mind blindness. They say something along the lines of, I just don't understand why he can't see certain things. I tell him over and over uh, how I feel and he just never seems to get it. And I just don't understand this mind blindness thing. Well, you, it's hard for somebody who is mind sighted, to make up a term, to understand somebody who's mind blind. Now, you could easily imagine what it would be like to be blind. All you'd have to do is put some blinders on and walk around the house, try to get out in the driveway to get in your car and try to make your way through the grocery. And you could easily duplicate that and know exactly what it's like to be blind. Or you could plug up your ears and you would know what it's like to be deaf, but you're never going to know, for example, I'm just gonna make up a, a perhaps ridiculous example, what it would be like growing up as a child in a Nazi concentration camp. Um, we can't duplicate that because we'd have to go back in time, we'd have to set up a concentration camp, we'd have to relocate to Germany, um, we'd, you'd have to regress from adulthood down to childhood, and, and so there's just too many complicated, there's no way to replicate that or do an experiment, so to speak, to give you some indication of what it might be like to be a, a five-year-old little girl growing up in a Nazi concentration camp. You're never going to know what that feels like. So in the same way, since you're mind sighted, you're never going to know what it is to be mind blind. And so it would make sense to me why it doesn't make sense to you that he doesn't get it. So the best I can do to help you is set up a little experiment here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two comments and I want you to tell me which one is sarcastic and which one is authentic or honest. Okay, you ready? Thanks a lot, Dave. Okay, here's the second one. Thanks a lot, Dave. Okay, of those two, which one was sarcastic and which one was genuine? You have no clue. The mind blind individual or the person with alexithymia which we call them the they would be the alexithymic both of those statements appeared the same but here's what they looked like for the mind sighted person here's the first one thanks a lot dave here's the second one thanks a lot dave now you can clearly see the first one was honest, the second one was sarcastic. The mind blind individual can't tell the difference between the two. And so when you are, for example, sarcastic with your mind blind spouse and expect him to get that it's sarcasm, he's not gonna get it. Or if you say, well, I feel this way about that. And you expect him to take how you feel and apply it to some course of action he's supposed to take, he's not gonna get that. So with this business of being out of touch with what other people might be thinking or what they might be feeling, we have to be very concrete instead of vague. We have to make our message very short so we don't end up with data dumping and now he has data overload and there's too many uh, factors involved to dissect each one and figure out what he's supposed to get. I hope that makes sense, guys.